Today we are going to see formation of hemostatic plug. So this is the endothelial cell and this endothelial cell is intact. So this releases nitric oxide and prostacycline. The nitric oxide and prostacycline binds to plasma membrane receptor and this binding leads to the synthesis of cyclic AMP. Once there is a release of the secondary mediator or messenger, it will inhibit the calcium which is present intracellularly by inhibiting the glycoprotein 2A and 2B. And this intracellularly calcium when inhibits, this will lead to inhibition of platelet aggregation. So, indirectly, the nitric oxide and prostacycline, these are responsible for inhibition of platelet aggregation. If we want platelet aggregation to be there, there should be decrease of nitric oxide and prostacycline. And this levels are decreased when there is injury of endothelial cell. So, when the endothelial cell is not intact, or it is injured, there will be decrease in the level of nitric oxide and prostacycline. When the endothelial cell is injured, there will be the release of platelet aggregates. This will release the chemical mediators which are thromboxane A2, adenosine diphosphate, serotonin, platelet activation factor. This all will stimulate to platelet plug. There will be the formation of platelet plug. So, then this will release thromboxin A2, thrombin ADP that is adenosine diphosphate which will stimulate the release of calcium intracellularly. And once there is an increase in the level of calcium intracellularly, this will form the platelet fibrin plug, thromboxin A2 synthesis, release of platelet granules. There will be the release of glycoprotein 2A and 2B. So when the calcium level is increased intracellularly, there is formation of platelet fibrin clot. This is because of prothrombin gets converted to thrombin and this thrombin helps for conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin. And this fibrin leads to the platelet fibrin clot. This fibrin get adhered to the platelets and then there is a formation of clot and it is called as activation of coagulation factors in plasma and this step is inhibited by heparin. After the formation of hemostatic plug that is platelet plug, there is a release of tissue activation factor which converts the fibrinogen to plasmin and there is the fibrin platelet formation. So once there is a formation of hemostatic plug that is platelet plug, there will be the release of tissue activation factor which will convert fibrinogen to plasmin and this plasmin further will lead to fibrinolysis that is it will release the fibrin from platelet and there will be the lysis of fibrin. This process is known as fibrinolysis and this process is known as platelet formation. तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जेन पीस आउट